some of the vitamins are very essential for our food. And one such vitamin is vitamin D. Its deficiency can lead to a lot of symptoms and health issues. And that's why having a good amount of vitamin D present in your body is super important. So what exactly is this vitamin D? How you can get this vitamin D? Which means what are the sources of this vitamin D? And what will happen if you have deficiency of vitamin D? We are going to discuss all of them in today's video. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Friends, vitamin D is not just a vitamin. It acts as a hormone. Your body makes vitamin D when your body is exposed to the sunlight from cholesterol. Ideally, we need 1500 to 2000 international units of vitamin D in our body. But the requirement of this vitamin D varies depending on age, gender, etc. And this leads to major health related issues. And that's why it's important that we should know what will happen if we have vitamin D deficiency. So here are a few symptoms that will develop if you have vitamin D deficiency. People with vitamin D deficiency usually get sick often and they are more prone to develop infections as well as flu-like symptoms. The next common symptom that people with vitamin D deficiency experience is fatigue and tiredness. People who have vitamin D deficiency are often uh, more lethargic, they get tired soon and they also feel fatigued very easily. Along with that, along with that, people with vitamin D deficiency also experience usual bone pains and muscle pains. And that's why people who often experience low back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, etc. have a higher chance that they would have vitamin D deficiency. Apart from that, depression is also one of the common symptoms due to vitamin D deficiency. People with vitamin D deficiency also lose calcium fast and that's why they have low bone mineral density which makes them more prone or susceptible to develop osteopenia or osteoporosis. Vitamin D deficiency also leads to impaired wound healing, which means that if they get cut or if they get injured, their wound will take little longer compared to usual to heal. Hair loss is another sign or symptom of vitamin D deficiency. Along with that, muscle pain, weight gain and anxiety related issues are also signs of vitamin D deficiency. So these were the symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. So what is the treatment for that? Definitely you need supplementation. Now depending on what level of vitamin D deficiency is present, your supplementation is required. If you usually experience fatigue, muscle spasm, back pain, knee pain, etc. You can actually start over the counter available vitamin D supplements. But there are few people who have higher rate of vitamin D deficiency who need some prescription medicine. Vitamin D supplementations are being prescribed. Vitamin D supplements are prescribed by orthopedic surgeons and doctors. They see your blood check and on the blood reports from the vitamin D levels that you have, basis that they might prescribe you some vitamin D supplements or even vitamin D injections. But there are few natural ways through which you can get vitamin D in your body. One of the most important natural way for getting vitamin D is sunlight. Getting exposure to sunlight is super important as that helps to develop vitamin D. That helps to reduce the chances of developing vitamin D deficiency. That's why if you're living in rainy areas, try to plan some vacations in sunny location. That will to an extent help you out. But yes, people who stay in area where the sun rays are less frequently or uh, where the sun rays are less frequently seen they are at higher risk of developing vitamin d deficiency along with that there are few food sources which are also high in vitamin d's these food sources are fatty fish egg yolk fortified cereals and soy milk certain juices are also fortified with vitamin d as well as yogurt there are very limited food sources that are available for vitamin D and that's why dependency on supplements become a major thing for people especially who are at higher risk of developing a vitamin D deficiency. So what causes vitamin D deficiency? There are few risk factors. There are few people who are at higher risk of developing vitamin D deficiency. 
and first people who stay in area which is far away from equator where sun rays are not easily found or sunlight is not frequent they are at higher risk of developing vitamin A deficiency apart from that people with darker skin older adults obese people, people who don't eat uh, people who don't eat much of dairy and fish products people who mostly stays indoor people with chronic kidney disease people with liver disease people with hyperparathyroidism people with crohn's disease people with gastric bypass surgery and people who take medications for a long time like steroids are at higher risk of developing vitamin D deficiency as i said vitamin D acts as a hormone and it requires breakdown first it for, uh, first it is formed in the form of cholesterol and that's why it's not easily absorbed so you don't need extra or else excess vitamin D in the body whatever is the ideal um, ideal rate of vitamin D that's enough we don't need excess vitamin D hence it's important that don't just randomly take vitamin D supplements until unless it's too important and if you want to know that do you actually need vitamin D is there vitamin D deficiency present in your body make sure to see a doctor who would be able to write down certain test and basis that he would be able to prescribe you the test Vitamin D plays a crucial role when it comes to musculoskeletal health and hence it's important that you can hence it's important that you should keep in check on vitamin D levels and according to that you work on your health and do your exercise on a regular basis I hope you found this video informative if yes make sure to like this video share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to Health Q channel I'll see you in another video thank you